Okay, I'm up here on top of my roof now. You can see there's the ground behind me far below. I've got my ladder that I came up and I have a chain going to my porch area all the way up to here where I'm working. This chimney is gone. Go check out all that inside my masonry playlist, how to remove a chimney and how to brace a chimney. But right now, I've just put a metal flashing over this for the night and I'm putting the, uh, the shingles that I'm tearing out right on top of that so they don't go down inside my attic, down my chimney and all that. So that's all that is. I've got the chimney down below the roof and you can see this is what it looks like. The flashing was right here up against the chimney and um, it's all removed right now. There's my wood and I'll remove all this so you can see better whenever I'm fixing this. I'll video how I'm fixing that. But you can see those shingles on that side. They all look good over there, but I'm gonna be removing shingles on that side, just like this side because in order to fix it, I have to remove the top couple of la layers of shingles. So this is what it looks like currently before you start tearing it up. The shingles just went straight up to that chimney. Okay, straight up to the chimney. And they put the flashing right here, flashing. And then flashing on this side too, which I've already removed the flashing that was on this side. All that flashing is I'm gonna get over here on the other side of the roof and I'll be right back I'm gonna show you what this other side looks like I'm on the other side now and this is what it should look like in order for you to go ahead and start fixing this but you can see that flashing all it is is nailed in like that got nails inside it at the tops where um, the water is running downhill and there's no nails downhill all the nails are up here so it's gonna be nailed and you're gonna need a pry bar like I have right here to remove those nails or a hammer and to pry up the shingles a little bit easier so anyway um, you can see I've removed one two layers of shingles and over here I've removed one layer of shingles but I have to remove this layer as well because you can see there's problems right here and I don't want any roof leaks so I'm gonna remove another layer of shingles on this side and I'm gonna remove this flashing on this side just those nails and that pry bar, that's all I'm using up here. And I'm gonna remove this shingle right here because you can see it has a big hole in it right there and it's damaged right here. It's got some problems and then that flashing's nailed into it. So I'm gonna remove this layer of shingles as well. So I believe there's gonna be three layers of shingles on this side, two layers on this side, two layers over here, and there'll be two layers over here on this side also. So, um, the basic thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get that plywood smooth. You can see I've removed all the nails on that plywood and it's smooth. Okay. That's very important. Same thing going down this side. It's all smooth, ready to shingle. This side, there's no nails coming in. Um, this wood is all rotted out. You can see there's a main board right here and right here. That's my roofing joist. On top of the roofing joists, there's plywood like this. In newer houses and older houses, they had these plank boards, this plank board right here. So that's all rotted out on this side. So I'm gonna remove all that plank board and we'll have to figure out something. I'll probably end up having to remove the plank wood on this side also. So we'll see. But these shingles, you just grab up underneath them underneath one of the layers and they're just tarred down from the summer sun and they just melt together so you just pull up on that pretty hard and those shingles will come right up and at the top of the shingles um, they're nailed ah. one life remaining one life remaining ah i better call a roofer let me get on the phone I'm gonna call a roofer. The dance party! I'm the roofer! I'm the roofer! I'm the roofer! He's dancing! Oh dear roofer, I was looking for a roofer. Okay, I got a roofer. You got a roofer? Oh yeah, that's my brother. He's a roofer. Let me get him over here. It's okay, I am Rupert. Now, where's the roof at? Right here. Oh, Rupert! Rupert! Space 
minutes to myself. I need to just regather my thoughts for a minute. You want to do anything right. You got to do it yourself. I'll show you how easy these shingles are to take out. There's a nail right here. So I'm going to remove that nail. Okay. And then you get up underneath it. Underneath that lip. You just start trying it until you've got it up like that and it comes right off you can rip it and tear it because you're tearing it up there's another one right here some more nails I got to take out right here Okay, they just come off one at a time like that. Now I've got another nail to take out right here to take off this piece, but you just grab up underneath it, see how it just, it, the sun melts it down. So you, you can just peel them up on the bottom and then that comes up off the bottom and at the top, you've got nails at the top. So you gotta remove them all just like that, one layer at a time until you're down past. I actually, they put nails and caulking inside this flashing on this uh, at the bottom of the flashing as well at the top. So I'm gonna have to remove another shingle because of that. So that'll be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna continue ripping these out and I'll uh, bring you back uh, to show you this flashing right here once I've removed these shingles on the top. But it's gonna be just like similar to these. You can just see how much taller my house is than these other ones. Look at that. I'm looking way down on these houses. Anyway, <clears throat> here's the flashing right here. You can see it's just wrapped over and nailed down. It's got a bunch of holes in it. Nothing special. I'm just gonna take out those two nails and then this will just come right off of there. And then I gotta remove these shingles and these nails, take those, peel those off and then there'll be more flashing and more nails inside that flashing right here. And you can see I've started removing some layers over here. I'll be right back. Once this flashing is gone, same thing here. I'm gonna remove all these shingles, just like I've showed you. There's nothing else here other than we'll have to do some woodwork in a minute. I'm about to take this bucket up there to get all those shingles off that chimney top and get rid of them so that I can start working on the wood patch and make sure that everything's ready to go. And I'll give you a little look at it before I start doing the wood. Okay, I've went back up the chain. I've got everything removed. You can see I removed <clears throat> the ridge cap here and the ridge cap here far enough to where I can repair those two layers of shingles. And then I've also removed the ridge cap far enough to where I can repair these, this row of shingles. And you can see the, the next layer of shingles will come down to here. So these nails won't be in the way. The shingles will come down to here and it'll come up this way. And then there'll be another one here coming up this way. So it'll be about maybe three, three rows on the back side here. But I did leave one shingle right here that you can see that I left because it, uh, it wasn't damaged or anything. It's gonna be just fine. Uh, those two nails, nail holes right here, those are gonna be fine because they're gonna be covered by this ridge cap. See, there's nail holes all the way down, but each shingle covers the nails down to this point, <clears throat> down to this point down here where the tar is. So that'll be just fine. I was able to save that one. And everything's smooth. I've got all the nails removed on all three sides i think i'm going to end up keeping these right here and i'm just going to patch in around here i'll show you how i do that here's the chimney i have a, a video on how i removed it out the out the rooftop and i'll be doing a video on how i remove it inside the attic right here 
but the bracing which i also have video on that bracing is working out beautifully the chimney is leaning right in there like a cradle it's leaning this way and you can see it when i look down how it's not straight i have to move the camera over to get it like that that's because it's leaning really bad so um, this will be easy to tear out the bricks from this side of the chimney where there's no bracing see the brace boards and then you can you can see how this chain worked tied around that ladder rung against that with this board as well if that one breaks so and then boop, out the roof and I'm hanging on that all this worked out really good so go check out my other videos and let's continue tearing I was going to show you this flashing so you can see there it is uh, that's the last thing I have to do I have to remove one more layer of shingles right here and then I will show you how to start repairing this wood uh, just two by fours in between the rafters and that makes this peak now I got to make the difference of the height from here up to here to make this roof level the shingles level and everything and you can see there's a gap between the plywood to this uh, structural board here. So I'm going to put a piece of wood underneath that. And that would be because they put this plywood on top of the old wood here. So I have to match this plywood height, not this height. I have to match the plywood height in my case. But your case is probably going to be more like this side where I can just put one board on there. Uh, I'm going to use one by fours because that's what they used to match this height. And you'll see how I do that. I actually have a piece of wood right here with me. And they're going to go on there. It's too short, obviously. But they're just going to go on there like this. Up to the very peak right here. And then I'm going to use my tack nailer. Pop, 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 pop. Lay another one. Pop, 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 pop. Just like a fence, almost. And I'm going to lay those one by fours across there. That they're back notch so that you can see this. You can see how those one by four slats are gonna go on those uh, structural two by fours that go in between the roofing rafters to make that point. I've got the slats on top of those two by fours and I've got two layers of slats on this side and one layer on this side. That's because this side I'm just matching up the old plank wood, okay? And then on this side, I was matching the plywood on top of the plank wood. So I had to put two layers over there and I'm starting my shingle layer right now. Um, you can see there's a ridge cap right here, but I laid the row of shingles that I'm working on right now on top of that ridge cap because I'm gonna put another ridge cap over the top of this ridge cap from this layer um, down right here, up all the way to the ridge of the roof. I'm gonna work down this and put a new ridge cap. So don't worry too much about that. I'm starting my shingles right here. I've got an angle cut right here along the ridge. That's all it is, is a shingle. You can see there's a shingle divide right here and it goes this way. And I've put two nails down that chalk line, right behind that chalk line, because the new, the next layer of shingles will come down to here, you know, to this little line right here. Maybe a little bit lower, or a little bit higher, depending on where your nails are placed. They should be right on this line or right behind it. And you can see I've done the same thing on this on this row because I finished this row already and I forgot to start video. And I've got my angle cuts. Uh, I've overlapped the old ridge cap. I'm gonna put a new ridge cap from down here. Up. So like I said, and uh, you could put tar paper up here or plastic wrap. But since it's only two rows at the very top, you can see even the rows that I'm working on right now still have paper underneath it. It's just gonna be this top row and this top row that aren't that don't have any paper. So instead of spending $100 for a roll of paper, I'm just gonna do it like this. So, uh, you know, this is my house and I'm, I can do it this way if I want to. If it leaks, I will make a new video, but I seriously doubt it's gonna leak. So here I am. But I am telling you, if you want to put some tar paper on here or plastic wrap, go ahead. And that's just this stuff right here. Um, so there's that. Let's keep going.
And I also want to mention that you don't want to have the seams like a seam right here and a seam right here. That's okay. You don't want this new seam right on that old seam because it will leak right through there. You got to have, you know, a few inches overlap. So you need to have the seam, the seams farther away is better the farther away they are. Okay. We're going to have four ridge caps. One here, one here, the two behind me, and then the fifth one is this this peak. This is going to be a ridge cap right here too. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm using this little knife with a hook on it. That hook allows you to cut through these shingles fairly easily to get those angle cuts down your ridge caps. And the only other thing I'm using is these nails right here, roofing nails. They have big, bigger heads on the top, roofing nails, and this hammer. These are what you use for the ridge cap. And all I do is take my box blade knife and I get a bunch of these on the ground and I get them all ready. I need 20 of these. So here we go. Okay, there's one. Two, three. Okay, and this is another type of shingle. This is the actual shingle that I'm using on my roof. It's like a weather shingle, and it doesn't have these three tabs. This is all one solid piece, very good for uh, storms and weather and such out here in Oklahoma. So this is what I'm using for my shingle, and these are what I'm using for my ridge cap. Okay, here we are on this side, and you can see where I was saying the shingles went over the old ones. Well. Now I'm going to take this ridge cap piece and the darker piece on mine goes on the back. The lighter piece goes on the front and you can see I'm going to go right over both of those and down to where the other one was right there. And then I'm going to apply a nail right here and one over there right here. Okay. I've got new ridge cap up to here, this white line, because I got to put another row of shingles, the, la the last row of shingles right here that'll wrap over the top and then that side I got to put see that white line I got to put one more shingle just for that very top little peak right here I have to put another shingle right here and right here okay and cut those corners off like this and then I'll be ready to ridge cap all the way up to here and over here all the way up to here as well um, and then I got some more repairs to do on this front side I gotta remove this chain. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this last piece right here and the last piece right here. And I'm gonna hold off on the ridge caps for now, all those ridge caps for now, because I'm gonna remove this chain, next. this ridge up to the peak, shaping the roof. And then um, I cut it down straight because this is a different side of the roof here. So I nailed it here here and here on the back side and then across that white line on the front and the very point is right here so i've went across and over and then i've put the last shingle this last shingle here the last six inches or so up here and put a nail right here and then cut a little v out of it and wrapped it around the very peak and now we'll put our ridge cap pieces and layer them boom 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 up to the top I'm going to leave this side not now yet, but I'm going to go ahead and do this side over here up to the top. Also. I'm going to tighten this down all the way down. And then I'm going to remove this chain out that hole and connect it to this. That way <clears throat> I can hang from here and work on this last side of the roof. I'll do the as much as I can and then I'll sit up here for that last piece and I'll finish it from sitting up here on the roof. And then when I get done. I'm actually just gonna slide on my butt all the way down. So, a little sketchy, but I'm gonna have to get it, this top part done somehow. Connected with this locking pin piece right here, like I said, 
and if you follow it up to the top you can see one's connected to the eye pin and one's going down through the roof i'm going to go up in the attic right now disconnect the one from inside the attic and then this will all just slide right down where i can all put um, my weight uh, back up here on that eye pin at the very top okay i've got you zoomed out you can see this ridge cap this one's not done we're done all the way up to the peak here all the way up to the peak here now we've got to come up right here and you can see there's a broken shingle where that thing came out that uh, chimney all i'm gonna do is bring my new layer of shingles all the way down past this broken layer all the way down to here okay all the way down that'll cover those two nails and get us down to where all the broken stuff was past will be past that and we can start coming uphill with, with new so i'm gonna bypass all this by dropping down all the way to here and that will look <clears throat> that will look like this i'm gonna try to do this okay you can see now i've shingled up all the way to this eye pin to the peak of the roof and i've cut it made it all look real nice got everything up here this ridge cap's done on this side and the one behind me but i still have to do this ridge cap this ridge cap you see you see up to the peak and then there's this ridge cap right here and we'll end up finishing right here the last piece will finish right here in the middle where i'll remove the eye pin and then i'll slide down the roof i am zoomed out again i'm at the peak right here and you can see the ridge cap i've overlaid them all the way up to the top up to here same thing over here i up i did them all the way over and lap, lapped them over the edge and then i put this one and lapped it over this edge and all i did was put a slit in it right here and then a couple of nails to you know pull all this tight and wrap it around over the top of this now i'm gonna take my extra ridge, ridge cap pieces now that this one's done and this one's done because this is a hip and valley roof I'm gonna start my ridge cap on the top by going over down to the front of this one right here. Right there, okay? Just a little bit past that little thing. We're gonna go, cause there's a point right here where they overlap. And I'm just gonna drop down a little bit below that right here, okay? Okay, here I am now. I finished the roof, you can see how these uh, caps come up the ridge the top ridge cap comes from down here up and over and you work from this side going over this way to the middle and from that side same thing going over to the middle and then you uh, you put this last piece this last cap on and I've got six exposed nails which I'm gonna put uh, tar on so you go ahead and go ahead and tar all those nails that are sticking out and any places uh, that you might think you might need a little extra tar or anything like that right here on the ridge cap top and you can see my chain's gone that hole is covered over by this ridge cap and I have to actually slide down now which is very sketchy so um, if this video is helpful in any way go ahead and like it subscribe to the channel if you like home improvement videos see you next time it looks like this and I'm going to show you two other houses where they didn't do that the house next door it's a square top and the house next door next door which is also a square top